Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. You wouldn't believe this, or if you believe it, that means you're uh, uh, way ahead of uh, the curve. And um, it is how it seems that uh, politicians who are just, you know, tools, the politicians are just tools of interest. And it seems like who is the highest bidder, uh, you know, gets the politician to uh, uh, implement whatever that highest bidder, uh, you know, requests or demands. Uh, <clears throat> I, it's uh, unbelievable how you could see certain, uh, certain entities, certain politicians, humans, with, uh, they can change from left to right depending on, you don't know exactly is the people or it's someone behind that is waiting, is looking. It's like you are a, um, how should I put it? Uh, uh, you expose yourself to be a bot and you offer more and more. So let's say you have over there some, uh, I'm just gonna give you an example, military contractors, and you know what they want. They want uh, contracts, that's what they want. And then you have all these politicians and in order to get that support that will uh, lend them a very good job somewhere through the you know all these uh, connections and all that uh, they start selling themselves and start saying well i i will do that how about this how about that war should continue how about that we should send those weapons over there how about we are underfunded the military the defense budget is on and those guys are like on the sheet of paper and say okay Gigi offered that and that and that, he offered that, that, that and that uh, and who offers more to these guys which are not part of the democratic system, let's put it this way, they will make sure that they will promote somehow, doors will be open, finance will be provided and these guys land some good positions, appointed or uh, promoted in order to be shown to us so we can, um, I'll vote for that idiot that you don't know you're idiots and if they're idiots and uh, you know they're idiots it's your fault that you vote for them i uh, this or that which one both of them have behind interest and it's not us now what happened now we have this 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 guy called boris becker johnson former prime minister of great britain who now he lost the uh, he's out of the big game he was a prime minister how he got over there, uh, I didn't follow that, but I was surprised when I saw this this individual who I think is just, uh, he would sell his mom for a position somewhere in the government. And this guy now, he wants to become the NATO Secretary General. And he will. I, I'm pretty sure that if he wants, he will. Why? He's, he's trying to get Sunak uh, Maharishi down. And how does he try to do that? He goes to Ukraine. He promised Ukraine, yes, he comes back, uh, everything you're gonna get, Zelensky, everything. He comes back to, uh, to Great Britain and said, well, uh, we should give uh, Ukraine uh, fighter jets. Sunak is like, well, I don't know. Uh, 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 no, we should, we should. And uh, the guys are, oh, yeah, I think we should because if you give them, you will deplete our stock pile. Uh, our numbers so they have to build it so that means they have to give them money to the defense defense will have to give us contract so yes i think i'm going with this guy if the other guys doesn't give ukraine um, fighter jets then the fighter jets will be just fine so no contract for us so which one do we need to uh, push that guy and uh, it seems like sunak is untouchable and i'm not talking in the indian way untouchable or in the uh, medieval japan uh, untouchable. Uh, it's untouchable because he's golden. That's what I mean. Okay, so he's over there and uh, what's his name? Bozo, whatever is Bojo, whatever is his nickname. He tries to get him down. It seems like he can't. Even though Sunak didn't do anything extraordinary versus the other g person. Unbelievable. Uh, what's her name? Uh, Lizzy Lazy uh, Lizard Truss, another piece of beauty, the same as Bozo, Bojo, whatever, and uh, Sunak. I don't know if, if Sunak is good or bad, but I don't see anything happening fantastically over there. But at least he seems to brrr, hold the horses a little bit. No, 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 no. This guy will sell everything, everything. 
uh, Boris. And now Boris wants to be the Secretary General of uh, NATO. He can be. I think that's not really a uh, decision-making make position. He doesn't make decisions over there. I mean, if United States get him from here, puts him over here, over here, everybody would say, yes, 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 he's the best uh, uh, option. And if in three days United States doesn't like Bozo and get him out, yeah, 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 that was a good decision. Good, 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 good thinking, boss. Those are brown nosers over there. And this guy could get over there just to be important. And he talked and he spars with Putin and he shows how it's, it's uh, narcissism at the highest level. No, let's see what else this article has to say about this guy. This guy. So this article is from uh, the 23rd of February, 2023. Here he is. Doo -doo, oop, doo -doo, oop. He's coming over, Red Rover, this guy. Look at this guy. I mean, I'm not just looking at this, okay? Because that, that's irrelevant to the, to the position. But I looked uh, at, at his movement in the past year. And I think he was anything goes as long as I'm in charge. Uh, it, really. Former UK Prime Minister Boris Becker Johnson has announced that he will run for the post of Secretary General of the North Atlantic Alliance. He's going to sell everything he's got. Now, uh, quote, and I'm quoting obviously, <laughs> heading NATO? That's a great idea. You know, it is a very good idea. I want to emphasize, dear friends, that I have this idea and let no one forget that there is a candidate for NATO Secretary General on the line. Uh, this time, I think I will be lucky. No, you know, Johnson said, you're not going to be lucky. Do what you're doing best, which selling everything else and uh, offer your butt to be taken from left to right by everybody who is important and could promote your little uh, uh, bid and bidding and then uh, you're gonna get it. Details. He recalled that former Italian Prime Minister Mario Draghi, another one, another one who was, yes, send everything to Ukraine and then he was uh, let loose by uh, these guys that I don't think they are what they say they are. I'm talking about uh, Georgia, Meloni, I know the Berlusconi is uh, a real deal. And the other guy, Salvini, he used to, and then he got uh, whistled out or something. Suggested that the representative of the European Union should be appointed as the next NATO Secretary General. And I'm quoting, I completely disagree with him. I think there are other candidates outside the European Union. Uh, meaning me? I don't have to be the E. It doesn't have to be in the EU. I certainly consider myself... <laughs> You can't make shit up. Oh shit, man! So lack of lack of self-respect. This guy would just do anything you tell him to do. Uh, it is a it is a good and important position. That's why you should not be near it. <laughs> the former prime minister added, "Oh my God, Johnson stress Johnson stressed that NATO is going to go stronger than ever." I don't believe that a bit. Because I would ask you, where is Hungary? I would ask you, where is uh, Turkey? And there are many other countries that are like, uh, you know what, maybe we should uh, think twice. Uh, Germany is just pushed for, from behind by the United States of America. Stronger, if that's strong, then before that it was non-existent. And it will soon be, soon be joined by new members, Sweden and Finland. Uh, one way or another, they will, I know that. Uh, even if uh, Finland will be accepted as a regular NATO member, Sweden will be accepted under a, a pseudonym or, uh, you know, something like uh, Gigi Lili uh, will be accepted. It's not going to be a full member, but will have all the benefits of a full member. They will create a, a euphemism a name over there and that's it. I, that's what I see. Or Erdogan will get what he wants and Sweden will, Sweden will enter through the uh, back door. And we see... I'm, I'm quoting, and we see quite clearly that Ukrainian membership is a prospect. It has to happen. It is obvious. See, there you have it. Uh, Putin has debunked all the arguments against Ukraine's accession to NATO. Now they are gone, he summarized. Hey, buddy, I know that a name NATO state cannot be at war or, or have any territorial problems with the neighbor country. So that dis disqualifies Ukraine at the beginning. Why? Because if that country has a problem with a neighbor, once it gets into NATO, uh, into NATO, if that country creates a little problem with a neighbor, then NATO has to join in. That's the minimum requirement. So unless uh, by that time Russia is destroyed 
and then obviously we'll have no territorial demands or anything from anybody else and then obviously we'll qualify. Now Jens Stoltenberg, incumbent NATO Secretary General who has been in office since October 1st 2014 was supposed to resign last year and plan to head the central bank in his native N Norway. Wow! How can you jump from NATO, military alliance to the central bank? Taking care of money. How, how is this? How is this? What are the qualifications aside from having a brown sticky nose? How, you tell me. These guys are taken and placed like this. If they lose somewhere, they immediately put somewhere else. If they said the right things, if they did the right things. Is that the way it works? Yes. But who are these guys who pull the strings behind? Who are these guys? Well, we kind of know, but um, free speech doesn't allow us to have free speech, I guess. So, at, at, at present, most of, of the Allies would also prefer not to change the head of the alliance and have unofficially agreed to extend Stoltenberg's term until April 2024. However, Stoltenberg himself would like to leave office this autumn. So, I would like to read this again, right here. Where is this? Right here. I, I completely disagree with him. I think there are other candidates outside the European Union. It doesn't have to be um, the EU. I certainly consider myself a candidate. <laughs> now you guys tell me if this guy is not that guy. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'm assuming he considers himself a humble Christian as well. But hey. Uh, if you have quality, why not jump ahead of uh, the line? <laughs> because he has qualities. He's got a big mouth and he uh, would do anything that these guys uh, tell him to do if that would promote his own uh, ego. Unbelievable. These guys are dangerous. How would you call this guy? I think he's dangerous, but hey, what do I know? Uh, well, are you going to vote for uh, uh, Boris Johnson? Oh, you can't vote. <laughs> Uh, he's appointed. Oh, my bad. All right. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.